Today I'm going to talk about a program that I like a lot called Quizlet. And Quizlet is a great tool for teachers who want to provide flashcards for the rote learning exercises that we still do. Uh, also great vocabulary exercises. It's great for students to access and teachers can also create their own. And the other unique factors about it is that Quizlet actually lets you um, search for things that you haven't created that other people around the country have created. I'm going to begin by actually doing just that. I'm going to search for, let's say, a set of uh, cards on Christopher Columbus. So I'll just type in Columbus. As you can see, there's several on Columbus. Here's one right here. And you can choose the flashcards. You can choose learn, which lets you type in the correct phrase. You can choose speller, test, and all types of other uh, devices in using this. Now, another thing you can do is you can log in. I log in with my Google most of the time. I simply click on Google Sign In. Because I'm already logged into my Google account, it immediately logs me in. But you can sign up and create your own account in several different ways. Again, it is a wonderful program for that. Then you go to click on your name and click Teachers and you uh, actually create a study set of your own. Let's call this Gadsden, Alabama. Um, we could put something about it, but we don't have to. Choose a language, we're gonna be English. And of course, we'll also have English on the receiving side. Quite simply, we'll put City of Champions, and that's the city slogan. Then we we'll we'll do another one, and again, you can see there's a lot of different options you can put here. Let's say a river, major river. And when we get ready to do it, when we get ready to use this, I just put two in there to show you. There's tons of things you could do on Gadsden. You actually can see our flashcards. City of Champions. Okay, I think that's the city slogan. And it is. So it works out really well. And again, I hope you've enjoyed this. This is a very short introduction. But this is a completely free program online available to everyone and it's called Quizlet.com. Now again, there are paid versions of it which lets, allows you to do a lot more things with it, but I, I would strongly advise using the free one at first to familiarize yourself with it and make sure it's something that you can use for you and your students.